We are so excited to be with all of our listeners today in the name of Jesus. We have been talking about free people. What, what does it mean to be free in the Lord? We established a truth concerning bondage in our lives. The only way a believer or an unbeliever can live in bondage is when they don't live the truth. Because Jesus said in John chapter 8, verse 32, and you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. So the only way I can have bondage in my life is when I don't live the truth. We talked about four keys to walking in the power of God delivered from bondage. The first key is you've got to recognize that you need help. You've got to admit to God that you need God's help in your life. The second thing we learned this week is, is you've got to repent. Repentance is more than just confession. We learned that repentance is a change of life. It's a lifestyle. That's right. When we talk about repentance, you always want to find someone that you can trust to confess your faults to them so you'll be healed. James 516. When we talk about repentance, you got to repent to others and repent to God. To be right. The Bible, the Bible says in Matthew chapter 5, when you go to meet with God at the altar, if you remember your brother has an offense against you, leave your gift, go get it right with your brother, then come back and get it right with God. The 
Horizontal relationships have to be made right first before you have a vertical relationship with God. We learn from the prodigal son that when he came to himself, he repented to his father and to um, uh, 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 to God. Netwega kurgom magara goma nechirare nguku ya hindi chire ya ye teisa ya ye teisizishe kuya mazire kwe teisizishe ya ye teisiza na na ranga. In order to be right with God, your heart has to be right with others and God. Ninyenda gungu gambe. We learned the third key is renounce. You've got to renounce the lies of the devil. It's a big deal. The devil's lying to all of us every day. Remember, your own self can lie to your own self. So we have to renounce lies that come from us in our own mind and lies that come from an external person through the power of suggestion which is the devil twine kwanga ebishuba bya shetani ebiri kwije nibira biro muri itwe kandi tukanga nebishuba bya shetani ebiye kwije neti tenseza negere tumukoreki ninga kora kiriya remember the older son in the parable of the two sons in Luke 15 he believed the lie that his father had never given him a party. He had convinced himself through the bitterness he had towards his younger brother that some kind of way his younger brother had taken advantage of him, which is a trap of the devil. Anytime you make an excuse of why you are where you are at, you have taken the bait of Satan and you are in his trap. It's called offense. Brizo. Koba no yechwe rom shango. Koba no chwe rabandom shango. Oba was kwatwa katego kastani. Akate gaban tube. Yaba nanda koba nagom chibi. Here's what you know. You are responsible for your own life. Nobody can take the free mortal agency authority that God has given you in your life. Your, your life is not anybody else's fault. Your life is your own fault. That's right. <laughs> You are responsible and you must take ownership for your own life. If you're offended at someone, it's not their fault. You are you. How could it be their fault? 
You are your own man. You're your own woman. You're responsible for who you are. You are where you're at because you choose to be where you're at. And if you blame other people and make excuses, you'll stay stuck. That's right. <laughs> Wajiro wajirevi. E wajirevi tigine kakwate nawe. Iwe ni woriono yeita. Ni woriono tumu tumu magaraga awe. Ori ataine kakwate niwe. Enshonga ni wajine. Amagarana gawe. Ni woriono gata maka kwa. Woo! Let's review real quick the three things we've talked about, and I'll give you the fourth one. The first thing is we must recognize that we need God's help. Second thing is is we've got to repent to God and to others, both. And we're talking about getting out of bondage today. We're talking to believers too, because believer, many believers live in the pig pen. And the third thing is, is we've got to renounce. We have to renounce lies. Now, lies come from two places, from ourself and from the devil. Oine, kuhakansa, kwatra, okatana, nebshubabiyastani. Ebshubabiyastani, nebergan tabiri, nebergan stani, kandi nitwe, nebergomunda zaitu. And the last key to get delivered from bondage is, is we've got to receive. That is, we have to receive the gifts that God has for us. Now, today, we're going to explore some more about why Christians are in bondage. I've got a great power panel today, and Sister Pat is fixing to talk to you a little bit today. One of the um, one of the reasons why <laughs> Christians uh, remain in a situation where we're not free, where they're not free is because of a misunderstanding of scripture. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. We can have too much reliance on, uh, say, the Old Testament deliverance of the Israelites in the Red Sea, that kind of thing. The Bible says that some were healed as they went. Some were delivered as they went. One of the points the Lord is wanting to make here is that uh, the healing can be a process. The healing can be a journey. But if our mindsets are on uh, someone in the church or wherever is going to lay hands, we're slain in the spirit, we get up and we heal, certainly God is sovereign and he can do that. Sometimes. Some, that's right. But yeah. he can also yeah, choose. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good. That's a great yeah. question. Na koroku ya sima. Tuwaba mtu gambanga akuchizwa. Rangana wa sakusima akuchizeho. Mengashi akuchizeho. 
bwanyi maya kile abo ku mbebre e ombe ande chirwe ni bitoreka ngo bamonda gane kuru hinaba bile bakizwa bari mu handa barakugenda one of the things connected with that is uh, then if we have the wrong perception if we're living under a spirit of error connected to that particular thing then then we're not <laughs> able to wait and allow god to be god nyenda ngumbaga mbire twin obtosha kwikiriza rahanga akaba rahanga Praise the Lord. So we want to we want to examine our mind. We want to see where, what our mindset is like, what our thoughts are like. Are we misaligned with the word? Or are we with the word? Um, and and one of the um, scriptures, he asked the uh, the man lame at the pool, "Will thou be made whole?" And so this is some of what we're talking about, right? Will thou be made whole? Uh, this is in John. Uh, this is verse six. Uh, Jesus asked, will thou be made whole? He gave the excuse of, I have no one to put me in the pool. Jesus says, rise up and walk. Immediately, the man was made whole and walked. Yimuka Ojende. Jesus can choose to do what he wants to do and how he wants to do it based on his purposes and the assignment for that person's life. Rahanga na kora ko kwar kwenda kukora ahabwe bigenderwa bye nko kubiri ningashi ahabwe kigenderwa Yes, I know this well. I had to make an adjustment and thinking that it's going to happen this way every time. No. Uh, God, we let God be God and let God choose to do what he wants to do and how he wants to do it. In this, we are allowing a, a a very excellent relationship to develop with our father Jesus. I've been delivered from some things instantaneously and I praise the Lord. Holy Spirit has he led me. I experienced the power, the power of God in that instance. That was awesome and mighty. I needed that at that time. That said to me, daughter, I know who you are. I know where you are. I know what you need. And I'm a good, good father. And here's the provision. Bam. Be healed in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. On the other hand, there are a couple of other situations where it felt like God was taking a scenic route. I'm like, what's going on here? Kandi, harhobi ebro, na webi na bide nsherdar hanga, akabanza ya nye tiza, ya njira titia, jenda mpora, nkebu za ntayim kamar hangori nka hii. It's like, when God, when are you going to do this? When are you, you did the other thing, why not do this thing? I need this now. Well, where are you? What's going on? This is where the word is so powerful and the Holy Ghost is so powerful in ministering us to be quiet, be still, and know that I am God and I'm in the midst. 
Ninya ndagu mba gambire nguwe chigambo cha mkama rahangachi na mani Ni chara kufuga mbe romu risayi shura makumi ya chataku wikumi itano Akatuja ti humura omanyengu ndo mkama The Holy Spirit's called the com... Holy Spirit's the comforter, yes? Omoyor kwera na tumurza God knew we would need comforting through these trials and everything to get to that freedom that we, we're talking about today. And then we, through the scenic route, the journey, process, the long way, I came, to under, I came to understand God knows me. He loves me as a purpose for me. God is called our helper. Can you imagine God of the whole universe being called our helper? What's that word, Sinecrush? He's our helper. God is our helper. Rahanga no way to. Rahanga no way to. Nkija kwete jere zangura hanga no muwezi weitu. Aisha hayona hitur kwete njero ya mbi. Na abal hokutu ya mba. Lamentations 3.23 says, uh, God is faithful, but not only that, great is the faithfulness of the Lord. Okutonzi ya shura ya kasha tubeibu ni netu gambreti. Ngor kwera wa Israeli. Obwesi kwa buwa wekano hango. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes, I, I learned to um, be more still. I learned more patience. I learned to trust God more. I learned that God is a God of integrity and he's a promise keeper. So to wrap up the point, one is make sure your mindset is lined up with the gospel, the word of God. He can choose to do it in an instant. He can choose to take the long way around. Either way, God is God and he is for you. Amen. Yes. Ninyenda mbejese. Amen. Ninyenda mbejese mwabazi yogu. Ngu mweje uge sigwa wa rhanga. Mweje kwe gamila rhanga. Mweje kwe kame shoganya rhanga. Obaya akoraho. Obaya aturaho kache. Na iza kukora. Mwumwe sije. Okay. Let's think about what we've been talking about for all of our listeners today. Katule bebitu antugamba ho. We're talking about bondage in your life. We're talking about God wants his people to walk in freedom. So God wants to deal with areas in your life that are character defects, Areas in your life that keep you stuck from moving forward in your growth with God. Some Christians think that one prayer, one laying on of hands will deliver them from bondage all the time. But that's not all the time the case. Sometimes it is. Sometimes God will allow you to walk something out in your life because he wants to teach you something through that experience. Of Miranga, I need Charcovananda Quigisam, 
akwikiriza kugirembera yiwarabamu but god needs your will and your desire yes. to want to be free yes. from bondage yes. god needs your participation kokar hanga nanda ngumukore kumwe nanda arebe okwe hayo kwawe no kugezaho no kukunda kwawe kwenda ngo komoroke nanda ngo are arebe otire hamani orkwenda komoroka so we want all of our listeners in America, in Africa, Pakistan, all over the world to know that we love you and that we are praying for you, that you be free, that you be everything God has called and created you to be. Amen. Amen. We are not debted to this flush. We don't owe this flush anything. It will. Titwin Ivanja, a young bill group to Vanja. Romans eight and twelve. Abaroma Shramana will come in every day. Therefore, brethren, we are not debted, not, we are, it says, we are debted not to the flesh, to live after it. That is, uh, that is Romans 8. 8 and 12. 8 verse 12. Let me read the exact words. Romans verse 8 verse 12. Okay. Therefore, brother. Therefore, brother. Hallelujah. We have to know in our hearts and mind that once we've been set free, when Christ set us free, we are free indeed. Nenye na gomanye, ngomkamara hanga ya mara kukomora, ya heza kukomora, nobo tachi nerwanja, nobo tachi namshango, nobo komoro chile chumwe, bazuma. The spirit that operates the flesh, the demon, that speak through this flesh cause men and women to stumble and fall. But we must go ahead. Omo yo mubi. Amana mabi. Agaruku korom mebili yaba na baba antu. Nagarete raba na baba antu kutere ntsibo. Garete raba na baba antu kuremwa. Bakagwa. Bakemkaru hanga. Hmm. 13 verse says this For if ye live after the flesh, you shall die. Baby, the Yeti Kumura Kuratri, a Yemirian Kubasava, the Muizakfa. But if ye through the spirit do mortify the deeds of the body, you shall live. Adira tukonka, kumuritse, omoyo, emizeanyi yombili, kumura argomu vili, maayebe embergomu yo wa mkama rhanga, ne mngeja kubabu hulire. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Our life today is through the spirit of God. We live, we strive, we hear, see, and understand through the spirit of God. So netureba twetegereza tumanya okurabira omwoyo wa mkamara hanga. Romans 8 and 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 5 says this. 
For they that are after the flesh do mind those things of the flesh. Paura shura mnana wakata na najirati. Ababa kukura tera evyombili. Batom tema ahavyombili. They that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit. Abatom tema ahavyomoyo. For to, be, for to be corner minded is death. I walk walk to Tima, I have your Mirnukfa. So to be spiritually minded and uh, uh, your life in peace, but to be corner minded is death. That means separated from God. What to Tima, I have your Midi, Majakfa. No wawatana nam kamar hanga. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace in Christ Jesus. Let me jump oh, in. Koktomatuma ahavyomoyo namagara no sinje. Let's think about what we're talking about right now. If you knowingly intentionally, habitually mm -hmm. practice sin, mm -hmm. then your heart is not right with God. Right. The Bible says God gives you a will and a desire to do of his good pleasure. Many times we have a we're saved and we have a desire to live right and to do right but we've not grown in those areas to maturity in the Lord, and yet we're still growing. Kingi, netuwe sanga, trio, tuwe nechete ngu, chokukuro moyo, konga kandi, tushanga ngokura kuita, ngoku jangu truku chete nga, nukuchi. The Bible says we grow in the grace and knowledge of Jesus Christ. So let me encourage all of our listeners today. You might not be where you want to be, but if you have a desire to serve God, you're not where you used to be. You're growing on a daily basis. <laughs> The Bible says carnal mind is unto dead works. It just simply, it just simply means that when you, when, you, when you don't think right, your life ain't right. When you think right, your life's right. That's, that's what it means. Paul, who wrote Romans chapter 8, said at the end, Who shall deliver me from this body of sin? He said, I have a desire to do right, but that which I do is not right. It was fighting. It was a tug of war between the flesh and the spirit of God in him. And then he said, I thank God through my Lord Jesus Christ. So the answer is the power of Jesus Christ in our lives and that gives us the authority and power to live for God. Amen. 
So as we continue, um, there is therefore, in Romans 8, it starts off by saying there is therefore no condemnation yeah. to those who are, who are in Christ Jesus and walk not after the flesh. It also says in verse 2, for the law of the spirit, uh, law of, of Christ, of the spirit of Christ, has made me free from the law of sin and death. So I look in, in John uh, chapter 8 when Jesus was trying to explain to the disciples and the religious leaders how to be free. He said to them, if ye abide in me and my words abide in you, you shall know the truth and the truth will make you free. That's exactly what he said. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. So here's the key as we go back to what Bishop uh, and, 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 the, and, the, and the, the other two ministers here were saying, you have to abide in the truth. That's right. Because the truth yes. is in the word. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's the key. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. So the spirit of God is there with us. Uh, uh, to guide us to the word of God. But when we lean to the flesh, we operate and we fall into bondage. But because we have Christ's spirit in us, when we follow his spirit and his word, we are free from bondage. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. Amen. So I thank God that Jesus Christ, uh, through what he did on Calvary's cross, he paid the debt for our sin. And that made us free from the bondage of sin. And he placed his spirit inside of us, which one of the other brothers was saying was the helper. Uh, inside of us, which is the Holy Spirit, to make sure that we stay free. Yes. And my final point is, but like Bishop Sinclair said, we, we have to make a decision. If we follow the Spirit, Come on. if we follow the Word, we'll stay free. But if we follow our flesh, we'll fall back into bondage. That's right. That's right. Amen. Anytime you open a door to bondage in your life, that influence comes into your life. That's right. Amen. The Bible says in 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 26, and that they may recover themselves. Second Timothy. Second Timothy 2.26. And that they may recover themselves out of the Second snare Tim of the devil. 
Second Timothy 2.26, I want to uh, be Re exact on the words. Second Timothy 2.26, is that it? Yeah, that's it. And that they may recover themselves out of the snare of the devil who are taken captive by him at his will. Remember, any work of the flesh, any work of the darkness is flirting with the kingdom of darkness that represents demon spirits of bondage. The devil is trying to trap us on a daily basis. So he uses the works of the kingdom of darkness and the works of the flesh to ensnare us and trap us and to make us think that like vengeance to make us think we need to hold this bitterness against someone because they did me something it's a trap stand nay jack tega katego akuretera bakukozire kubi akuretera bakunyigize akugira tereba bakakora kubi oshemerire kubanyigira oshemerire kubanga akutega katego oshanga wabangire omukubanga oyeshanga umuhuko bwa stand Remember what we taught. The thief breaks into the house, but he don't own the house. He doesn't have a legal right in the house, but will stay in the house as long as you let him. Here's how the thief works. Men, you look at pornography. You've opened the door and let the thief come in. Now you have a spirit of lust that you have to be delivered from. Yeah. Here's the thief. One more example. You have insecurity in your life. So you have to control everybody and everything around you because of your insecurity. Now you have a spirit of control. Bondage. <laughs> You think you come from a better family than other people. You think you're better than other people. Now you have a spirit of judgment, judgmentalism. Ewe, no teka teka ngo ino bwe nje kusinga abandi bona. No rugo mukano nje kusinga abandi bona. Abandi bona no bakwato bateka kajeje na. Oba hindure chini. When ori no moyo gwo kutwera abandi rubanje. Praise the Lord. We're getting some powerful information today, life-transforming information today to receive breakthrough from Jesus Christ our Lord. One thing uh, that can hinder 
our understanding of the way God works is when we use, uh, uh, the word of God says to lean not our own understanding, to lean not to our own understanding, but in all thy ways commit them to the Lord and he'll direct our paths. So there's a tendency. Hello. We, oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> 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 Mutriyone tuwe gevi ntwe kuru mnonga. Kwa mkwa kukora gevi ntwe vi, tuine kwe kamera, obuwe nje vwa mkama rhanga. Awo kwa na ajunangu, otaka ye gamero obuwe nje vwa awe, kureka, oye gamero obuwe nje vwa mkama rhanga. Do not lean on your own understanding. Yeah. Listen, this is one of the, the lies from the pits of hell that can keep uh, saints of God, true followers of Jesus in bondage. One, it says, I'm just like that. That's just me. Ogunuendi, that is me. Echindi, nichondi, nyowoku, nukwondi. That's who I am. That's who I, that's who I am. As if, and you're negating the word of God that says the word is a transforming word. That might be who you are or who I am at this moment. <laughs> but the Lord said... <laughs> You gotta come to your senses. Ninyanango kugambere, oine galkom beteka teko biawe, o kareka gumano jirot nyowechi nichondi, nyowogu nuendi, aha wokwam kamer hangaki ja kutin rak twi hombaza ranwa gita katkore chin sha. So let's renounce those spirits that put us in bondage today. Pray with me. Say, Lord, I renounce all spirits of bondage in my life today. I renounce bitterness, anger, and offense. I renounce malice, unforgiveness, insecurity. I renounce self-hatred, rage, murder. I renounce lawlessness, fear, and rejection. I renounce resentment, rebellion, and lying. I renounce pride, violence, deception. I renounce control and manipulation. I renounce lust and fornication and adultery. I renounce Pornography and sexual impurity. I renounce criticism and judgmentalism. I renounce racism and materialism. I renounce greed and covetousness. 
Ninyangira kimwe injara I renounce alcoholism and drug abuse and gluttony. I renounce legalism and laziness. I renounce sickness and disease. I, I renounce witchcraft, slander, gossip, and backbiting. I renounce false doctrine, word curses, and generational curses. I break the power of every spirit of bondage that has tried to take my life captive. I declare Jesus Christ Lord and Savior of my life and I ask him to forgive me for every sin I've ever committed. I'm sick and tired of bondage and deception from the devil. I want the truth. I want God in my life. Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior of my life. Jesus is Lord over America. Jesus is Lord over Africa. Jesus is Lord over this world. Jesus is my Lord. Yes, Nurhanga wa Magaraganje. Yes, Nurhanga wa Nsianje. Yes, Nurhanga wa Africa. Yes, Nurhanga wa America. Woo! Woo! Hallelujah. Let's take a call. Stay listening to the talk to Yes. Jesus. Huh? Pius uh, wants us to pray for him. He's struggling with anger and rejection. We command every spirit of rejection and an anger to leave our brother in the name of Jesus. We cancel that assignment of the enemy upon his life in the name of Jesus. We release the joy and the spirit of the Lord over him right now. And we release the spirit of, of the family of God, that he is beloved, he is accepted, he is a son of God, of the Most High God. We cancel rejection. In Jesus' name. Jesus. Hello. Hello. Ego mama, hello. Mama Juliet 
wants us to pray for her to have the grace to read the word of God and to understand it. Because that is only when she will overcome the lies of the enemy. The grace to read and understand the word of God. She's Juliet. Tell all of our listeners that they have to take responsibility and authority in their life. If you need to read the Word of God, do it. If you need to not be angry, stop being angry. you got to choose by your free will not to do these things, and we'll be glad to pray. <laughs> Now, Lord, give our sister the desire to read your word. And, Lord, open it up, the spirit of wisdom and revelation. Open your word up to her spiritual eyes. Now let her see spiritually in the name of Jesus. We have one and a half minutes. I don't know how we want to conclude this. One more caller and then I'll close this out. Okay. Hello. Esebo. Hey. Uh. Nelson. Brother Nelson, Nelson wants us to pray for him. He's feeling too much pains in the legs. She cannot stretch them. She cannot walk. She's believing the Lord to heal his legs. And he's our very last caller, Brother Nelson. Right now, we release the healing virtue in those legs and throughout all the bodies of all the listeners that are listening to us today. We release the power of healing, the power of salvation in your life in the name of Jesus. From all of us here in America, all over the world, have a great, great, great day. Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody in the world's a little lighter right now. Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for taking those weights of bondage off of us in the name of Jesus. God, help all Christians to walk in freedom. Brother Gideon, we love you. All of our Facebook people, we love you. All of our listeners, all of those that are with us, we love you. We love you, men of God. Thank you for that word that comes in power, anointing, and fire. God bless. And uh, the Lord has delivered his people, and uh, we can never be the same again.